making a little video just to share different types of air rifles I have. There's many different kinds of air rifles and different, uh, they shoot different size projectiles and different calibers or uh, some are BB guns, some are pellet rifles. Um, there's so many different kinds. But I'm going to show you the ones that I have, but different types. This right here is a variable pump. Uh, so this one, you, know, you pump it from three to ten times. Um, you just pull down on the, the handle. And pump it all the way up ten times is the most. And... Um, so this this is pretty popular kind for beginner rifles, um, and this has a spring type of piston in it. Um, so that's a variable pump. This one here is a CO2 rifle or pistol. This it goes. This can be made into four different kind of guns. It's called the Umarex Morph. So that's CO2. Uh, the thing about CO2. Uh, the cartridge goes in the handle and on this one and co2 is temperature sensitive so it's good for uh, like 70 degrees weather or above uh, and there's about 60 shots for one cartridge of co2 that goes in here so you have to carry around co2 cartridges if you're going to do multiple shots uh, the, there has to be some gun oil put on top of the co2 in order to uh, keep the gun lubricated uh, where the seals work correctly, where the CO2 uh, air goes into the gun. Um, so that's important. The next kind is, um, it's similar to this. This is a spring piston, so this one is also a spring piston. Um, and that is the uh, Hotson uh, Striker. And um, and that's in the 177 caliber. So the M4 TAC is a 177 caliber. The Umarex Morph is a BB gun. And this one here is a 177 caliber spring piston brake barrel. And it looks just like the one right next to it. Okay, but the one next to it is a 22 caliber, and it is, has a, an air piston called a Vortex. And um, <clears throat> the thing about the spring pistons is it causes the springs to uh, get fatigued or whatever. And so you can't leave those cocked too long. So uh, with the air pistons like these and the CO2s, um, you don't have to worry about, uh, worry about that. Uh, the, the, there's no spring to get worn down with the air type of piston. So this has got an, uh, the, the air piston, all right? Um, this one right here is um, what you call a nitro piston two type of gun. It's called a, a, uh, Elite, the type of piston that's in it. And that's a Crossman Valiant. Really new rifle I got from Sportsman Warehouse. Um, on the um, the Hotson Striker, the 177 caliber, I had bought that from Kmart a couple years ago when they were selling um, uh, air rifles. They quit selling them like uh, right before Christmas two years ago. Okay, so then this one right here, this is a Hotson 30 caliber. It's a carnivore. And this one has a... Uh, uh, a vortex piston in it too, like the 22 does over here. All right, this is the most powerful brake barrel uh, at the time it was manufactured in the world. Okay, and um, it's a 7.62 caliber, 30 caliber. The next kind is um, the under lever, and so. It, Instead of it, uh, breaking up down in half like these do, you break them open in the middle. This one uh, has a lever that comes down, and it's really accurate. 
Um, I just got this one recently. It has the same type of piston as the 30 caliber carnivore does. And they're both made by Hot Song. Um, so that's the under liver. And this other one is a precharged pneumatic. It has an air tank, and the air tank gets filled up on the side, and it goes up to 3,000 pounds per square inch of air. And uh, normally there's about 60 shots on a tank full of air. I can get 80 because I have a bigger tank on mine. And this uh, doesn't really have recoil or anything, and it's really precise. Um, and there's a lot of modifications that can be done to some of these guns. Especially that one. And then I'm going to show you one other kind of gun. Okay, so this one is what you call a Nitro Piston 1. The Valiant, the brown one over there, the wood one, is a Nitro Piston uh, Elite, which is like a Nitro Piston 2. Um, and this one is a Nitro Piston 1. Um, it's really nice. There's not much recoil. It's real quiet. Um, a lot of these guns have built-in suppressors, like this one um, is really good. Um, the whole barrel on the gauntlet is a suppressor, and it's removable. The, um, the Hot Sun Carnivore has a really good suppressor at the end, right here on this one. Um, this is a really good one on the uh, Crossman Valiant. And it has an okay one on the um, Hot Sun Edge 22 and the Hot Sun 177. The Umarex Morph doesn't have one, and either does the uh, uh, Variable Pump uh, Gamo M4 TAC. So that's uh, some different types of guns uh, that you can get in uh, air rifles, air pistols, things like that. So I uh, just wanted to share that information. Um, they vary in price. The most expensive one that I have, if it was brand new, would be the under lever right here. And that goes for about $320. The um, the um, <clears throat> Umarex gauntlet, um, I, I got it for like 300 and you can get it a little less now. And the Hot Sun Carnivore was also about 300 and you can get a little bit less now. But a lot of these go for like about 100 to $200. And uh, they're really good. They're, they're good for uh, small game hunting, uh, pest control. Some of them you can take even medium-sized game. Um, the, the largest caliber I have is 30 caliber, the Carnivore. Uh, my preferred caliber is 22 caliber. But I have 177, 20, 22, 25, and 30 caliber air rifles. Um, and I got rid of some, and I have more coming in. And I don't know how many I have, but they're all fun, and I use them all. So that's it in a nutshell. So again, I have Nitro Piston 1, Precharged Pneumatic, Underlever, Vortex, Nitro Piston Elite. Uh, this is a Vortex like the other one. Spring Piston, and CO2. And this spring piston over here is variable pump. So that's it in a nutshell. Hope you like seeing the different types of guns.